The problem says a pressure gauge on the receiver of an air compressor gives a reading of 0.22 MPA, and that's gauge. What is the absolute pressure of the tank in kPa if the surrounding atmospheric pressure is 101 kPa? So the first thing we need to do is establish the information that we are given in this problem. First, we have to recognize, number one, that the problem is given to us in SI units. So we're going to be working with Pascals here. Now we are told that the pressure reading is in gauge pressure and that P gauge is equal to 0.22 MPA. We are given atmospheric pressure at 101 kPa. Now we're going to use the, that same formula that we just looked, like, looked at in a previous slide that relates absolute pressure, atmospheric pressure, and gauge pressure. This is, can be found, this table right here, this uh, equation can be found on page 102. From here, some of you are just going to throw the given values into the formula and just get at it, just rip up. But we can't just do that yet. If we did, we would come up with the wrong answer. And believe me again, the NCES, as well as Prep and Ear, we're going to plant this answer straight into your options so you choose it. Before we do anything, we must convert the gauge pressure from MPA to KPA. Remember, a kilo pascal is 10 to the third pascals. A megapascal is 10 to the sixth. Now, if you need to refresh yourself on met metric prefixes, you can reference that table on page one of the reference handbook, but get very familiar with them. So converting and solving, we get the following equation. 101 KPA, converting our MPA into KPA because that's what the problem asks for is in KPA. We're going to get an answer C of 321 KPA. So just look at that once again, how we did all that, and that's going to be your answer. Now, had we not converted the gauge reading to KPA, we really quickly could have seen that option A of 101.22 and just chose that because it was there, it was simple. We got that in our mind real quick, yet it, it could be a catastrophe on our part.